With teenager Carlos taking charge, Dylan may no longer be fit to rule. It's not so much a question, is Dylan the right chimp to be dominant? He's been the only candidate. Dylan hasn't had anybody else challenging him until now. With tensions mounting, Carlos may be preparing to make his move. But he needs to pick the right moment. When chimps become dominant, they get there by fighting. I wouldn't like to see Carlos really go for it at the moment. He's a big, strong lad, no doubt about it. But in a straight one-to-one -one fight, Dylan would probably win. Sometimes a dominant struggle can quite easily end in death. On Chimp Island, teenager Carlos is squaring up to become the next dominant male, with a challenge to the current leader, Dylan. In the chimp world, it's all about who's grooming who. Normally, the most dominant animal is the one who's groomed most. Carlos is the life and soul of the party. Everybody likes him. He gets groomed an awful lot, but he also likes grooming others. I think he's a more popular chimp than Dylan. It's 2 p.m. Dylan is grooming new mum, Zizi. But young Carlos cuts in, forcing Dylan to move out of his way. Carlos calmly takes Dylan's place with Zizi, completely usurping Dylan's authority. I don't think Dylan's jealous of Carlos. He's, I think he might be worried about Carlos. He doesn't feel intimidated by Dylan nearly as much as he used to. Carlos then tests Dylan further by allowing Friday, a lower-ranking male, to groom him right under Dylan's nose. This time, Dylan retaliates with force. Dylan had his pride hurt, and Friday got the uh, harsh end of it. Friday's no threat to Dylan. He doesn't want to thump Carlos because I don't think he thinks he can win. Friday turns to Carlos for protection, and the teenage challenger goes to confront Dylan. When chimps, especially males, when they start fighting, it can get very, very horrific. They are such incredibly strong animals. You know, kill a man. <laughs> On Chimp Island, the standoff continues. Popular teenager Carlos is challenging alpha male Dylan. And it's Dylan, the current king, who concedes. Dylan back down, Carlos was swaggering around and then ran off, feeling quite happy with himself, I think. The balance of power between these two males is shifting. Dylan won't stand up to him. If Carlos wants to move somewhere and Dylan's in the way, he'll push Dylan out of the way and by backing off to Carlos, Dylan loses a bit of face in the eyes of the rest of the group. It looks like Dylan's crown is there for the taking. Basically, the dominance is Carlos's whenever he wants it. If Carlos is pushing for it, Dylan will just walk away. Self-preservation. 